What's going on everyone and welcome back to Power by Primus and in today's video I'm be showing you guys gameplay of Optimus Maximus going up against Twin Primes. Now I did play this list at our Saturday event and ended up taking first very uh, surprisingly. I definitely did not think that this list was going to be able to do it. I definitely wanted to test it out and it turns out it did fantastic. Now this is game two against the Twin Primes. I did manage to take game one and here I have to go for the combine and the kill in the same turn. I do have Noble's Blaster on, which gives me a total of 11 damage to start. I do get to draw and plan here, which is what Optimus Maximus' ability is every time you get to battle. Now I know I check my scrap pile here looking for any double oranges, don't see any, and I do put an orange on top because I really need to maximize how much damage I do because this is my one and only turn to get it done. We flip the first one, which is an orange, followed by two whites and a blue, dealing a total of 12 damage to Optimus Prime. You guys are going to see here that the Optimus Prime player goes to flip and does absolutely amazing on his flip. It does allow him to survive, and then he is just going to simply untap and beat the hell out of my Maximus, which is sending us to a game three. Looks like here that we're just getting all set up, making sure that our opening hands are all good, who's going first, and all that good stuff. I am pretty sure that I get to, oh no, he gets to go first, that's right, in this gameplay, which is actually uh, something that's a big benefit to the Optimus Maximus list. It doesn't really matter if it goes first or second, it definitely prefers to go first in most situations, but especially going up against a two wide like this, it doesn't really hurt, so I don't mind going first or second. He's sending Nemesis Prime here into my Prowl, who does have the least amount of armor, and he has the best chance of trying to KO. I do only take four damage there, which is really nice. This list is definitely a very mix between a balance of orange, blue, and white. It's definitely my favorite version of the list. I'm um, definitely going to be posting it down below for you guys. I do flip Mirage here, allowing me to scrap an action from my opponent's hand. I am going through quite a bit of a choice here, but I end up going with the security checkpoint because I do have the combat commands to put onto my Ironhide, which when you attack, you allow a flip a character in your KO pile from bot mode into alt and back, and then I scrap the rollout, getting both actions out of his hand that turn. Five, all right, so three, eight, two, uh, two. Now with that bowl and the damage coming across the board, I'm doing five damage. He goes and flips his blues, which he has three armor, taking a total of two damage. We're both deciding which greens we want to take, and I do go for that espionage because I know that I really want to try to keep my opponent's hand out of a lot of action, seeing as how this list definitely relies heavily on it, including Optimus Prime, so it's always nice to try to keep your opponent's hand stripped as much as possible. He top decked that card right there, pretty good, allows him to get a crazy amount of damage in with Optimus Prime. He goes ahead and flips over his two cards, and he does reveal a one shall stand, one shall fall. He does opt to play it, putting three damage onto my Ironhide and putting three damage onto his Nemesis Prime. Now this play here is good. It's not really great. The being able to get the extra damage onto the characters is pretty sweet, but uh, ultimately with this list and especially with combiners, the three extra damage can kind of hurt, but it doesn't really hurt this list quite a bit, seeing as how it's really not a requirement that you actually flip into your combiner mode. Um, there are definitely many games that I play where I don't even get to combiner, so sometimes it's not even really your out. Yep, one freaking health. One health in a dream. I do apologize, he did end up doing that three damage to Prowl, there. keeping that damage off of Ironhide, which is really nice. I do swap a card out there for Press the Advantage, which is by far one of the best cards in this list. Being a green battle icon, an orange battle icon allows you to get it back. And then against in this matchup, it allows me to do two extra damage to Nemesis Prime if I end up going with that, giving him the minus two armor and then the plus two attack. Or if I just want to go for plus two attack onto Optimus Prime, which is always a fantastic thing to do as well. I do flip Sunstreaker here, allowing me to draw one additional card. And then I do play the Noble's Blaster onto Prowl, which does give that plus two attack and then does give me the uh, Pierce two to Decepticons. I am here playing the combat commands. I am choosing Nemesis Prime to give the minus two armor, but I end up going into Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend here, so it's not really gonna matter. It's just so I can get as much damage onto Optimus as I can. Spoiler alert, Optimus is really good character, and if you ever have a chance to KO him, you should always, always, always go for that play. That 
Now my opponent flips pretty decent here, but just because that was a crap ton of damage that I did dish out there, that did get me six base damage onto him. And then now my Optimus Prime himself gets to go in there. He's gonna be putting a bunch of damage out. Getting early damage on Optimus is definitely the only way to really come out of this match on top. Nemesis Prime is definitely a solid contender, but Prime should always be your target in this list. Now my opponent did go pretty deep into the tank here before going with the Scoundrel's Blaster onto Nemesis Prime, giving him that plus two and that pierce two against any of my Autobots. Awesome card. Uh, I believe in his list he does run one of each at least, which is a really nice combo to go for. And then he does go for the Heavy Handed as well, giving him that plus two attack and pierce four, now equaling out to pierce six. So pretty much either he goes for a Prowl or Ironhide here, they are both definitely out of it and KO'd. Now, as far as with the play goes, I don't know if it's the correct play. Maybe he should have held on to the heavy handed and just KO'd one of my characters either way. We're going to have to iron hide because combat command sucks a lot. So we are at Pierce 4. But he does finally decide to go into Iron High. We definitely go into our flips there. And pretty much no matter what, I'm dead. My debate here is do I want to go for the Enigma or do I uh, not want to go for it? Six. Oh yeah, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, dead. Now I do opt to not go for it. Again, with this list, it is definitely not a requirement to go into combining because with my list specifically, I honestly feel like it is just a really well-rounded deck. And it does a very good job if it even doesn't get to the point of converting into making Maximus that it does put quite a bit of damage out and can withstand a lot as well. Now my debate here is going, uh, I'm pretty sure going for a hot rod flip and doing one damage to a character or if I wanted to flip Optimus Prime for the turn, I do choose to go with hot rod and I do choose to go with one damage on Nemesis Prime. I believe my goal here is to try to go for the KO on Nemesis Prime. We do to the Matrix of Leadership and then there is the other press the advantage. That does give Prowl plus two and it does give Nemesis Prime minus two, meaning his armor really won't mean much, attacking for quite a bit of damage. So we're looking at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 damage in total. I did flip a white there, there we go. And then now there's the bull one. All right, we got it. So I believe that is 12 total. So it's five, two off the press, two off of the blaster, one off the matrix and two out of the revealed cards, dealing quite a bit of damage to the character. He does flip for the turn and I'm pretty sure it's exactly 11 damage, which does KO Nemesis Prime. One more blue. Um, one more, two more blues actually. Here, my opponent is debating on the uh, sparring gear. As you guys did see in the last match, it ended up saving his butt. So he is definitely going for it. Again, it is a fantastic card in this list. And being able to get tough too is always really good. Now he does choose to play the sparring gear. Again, it's plus two, which is really nice on the tough. He does go for the piercing blaster, which puts all of it onto Prowl. Now see here, I definitely think that going for Optimus Prime with that uh, blaster, I'm sorry, with the plasma blast would have been better. It would have done two damage to Nemesis Prime because he's definitely guaranteed to get the kill here with Optimus Prime. So again, it would probably would have been nicer to put the other two damage onto Optimus. Currently looking through his scrap pile, my guess here is that his thought process is if he happens to flip Optimus Prime for the turn, what he would possibly be digging up to get back. He does choose to flip Optimus Prime, and let's see what he ends up digging up here. He ends up going for the heavy handed, always a good card, plus two attack, pierce four. Now the one thing here that he is unaware of is that I'm gonna be able to strip it again. I definitely have ways to be able to use Mirage and uh, Mirage is definitely the, definitely the best character probably in this list. Being able to strip your opponent for so many actions is actually extremely relevant. It's really nice. I don't remember if I use Jazz or if I go for espionage. So, you know, he does attack in this mode. It is six damage. Of course, it was enough to kill Prowl. Again, with the plasma burst going to him, he definitely confirmed it, but he probably would have gotten it anyway. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Now my thought process here is again probably flipping Optimus Prime or flipping Ironhide over if I want to get to that thing. I do play the espionage naming blue, the only card in his hand, which is that heavy handed strip in it. Just really in the tank here about this play and if this is really one I want to do. I am going with the combat commands which does allow me to flip those other character cards and this is just with the goal it's giving me the plus one attack still being able to flip another character is really nice I'm pretty sure I go for hot rod here I do flip hot rod which does put one more damage onto Optimus Prime we're attacking for big numbers here and we end up getting a double orange which is really nice getting quite a bit of damage out there his tough two is so good especially in an all blue list like this and flipping a white it is really just good 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 i don't think i get any damage off here actually i think it was nine defense and nine attack if i remember correctly seeing as how he's not putting any damage counters on i would agree that that was definitely how that went down now he does turn over he does flip this is where, you know, Optimus Prime is just really scary, especially in 1v1 scenarios. He does so much damage. He is attacking in here. He does go ahead and flip over. He does have the Plasma Burst. He needs to flip over at least two more. He gets it. Got the bigger they are, which does give the plus two either way. I would probably go with the Plasma Burst, seeing as how it just does the two direct damage. He's choosing the Vaporize, getting rid of the Combat Commands. And it's just because it does allow uh, me to flip other characters in the KO area, really keeping that value train going. I've been to flip two blues, which is really nice. Puts that five damage onto me. Now this is where the turn I'm really debating on what I should do. I flip Iron High, which gives him the Pierce two. And I'm pretty sure I have to flip one more character in the KO area. Go with the Supercharge, allows me to get bold three. First card is a white, so I'm flipping a total of seven cards this turn. Definitely going to be able to get enough to get the proc, as you guys see here. I do flip my Prowl, which is my sixth character. Now they are all in robot mode, in case they do want to go for the combine later on. Or armor. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. That's all that happens, though. It's like one game, you're like, it's all shit. And then all of a sudden, like, okay, here you go. One, two. So we finish our flips here does quite a bit of good damage although he does have that tough two again so it's gonna be really difficult to do damage while in this mode I'm gonna to have to probably get to combiner to be able to finish him out we did get some damage there which is really nice and definitely needed uh, again, Optimus Prime has just so much health and so much armor, and especially with the sparring gear on there, even one damage is good enough. Both games has been doing so much work. <laughs> My opponent was debating there, looking at all the green cards, if there was something that he wanted to scrap from his hand to be able to put that back. It's pretty nice. <laughs> I still wish they'd give us rules on how rounds go. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were going to play them to do that. Huh? I thought we were going to play them to have them. Yeah, but it's still being you know, good to have. Or make it up. It seems like we go to time here pretty often. I should have some minors now. There you go. Alrighty. Well. He does go to play a treasure hunt and try to dig a little bit just to see if he can find anything. The backup beam there is actually pretty nice, giving him bold two, allowing him to possibly do more damage if he flips some orange, but it also allows him to see more cards so he can get Optimus Prime's ability off. Um, just a little few more options, which can always be pretty nice. He's going for the attack here, and I will tell you what, I remember at this point I was definitely sweating a little bit. He had to absolutely not kill me this turn. He does happen to flip over a couple of good cards there. The security checkpoint is always a nice option. And then the bigger they are is also good. He does choose to go with the bigger they are, I believe. I flipped a white there, which is always super nice, allowing me to get a few more flips in. And we happen to take six damage, which leaves me alive with four. Uh, having 15 health on this Optimus Prime is actually really important and really nice. We're going to go with that Matrix of Leadership there. And then the Enigma. My goal here is I have to combine and I have to win on the attack just like how it happened with way uh, with match two 
just doing my maths here to try to make sure my health is where it's supposed to be. Although usually with this list, when you do combine, especially against something else that hits hard like twin primes, um, you're usually either going to win the turn you combine or you're going to lose the turn you combine. So let's see how this goes here. Man, that glare is definitely pretty tough. I, I will admit, though, no matter where I was at on the table, it was definitely pretty visible. So we're tapping. I'm drawing one and planning one. It happened to be a double orange, so of course I put it on top. That is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage total, which is a huge number. Let's see if Optimus Prime here can defend it. Look at all that, man. That is just an awesome defense. That list is so fun. But it was just enough to take him out, and that did advance me into the second match. This was a fantastic game, and I will again put the description down below, which will have the deck list. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.